Now that you have an account and the web bookmarklet installed, it's time to try some annotations. As mentioned in the first tutorial, it's possible to add, share, and comment on notes for almost any web resource. For the example today, I'll be using an open textbook. If you're not familiar with open textbooks, I'll explain. These are freely available university textbooks, mostly peer-reviewed, that are produced and shared by universities around the world that believe that knowledge should be free and open to everyone. The University of Southern Queensland has committed to open text publishing, and I've left a link for this collection, as well as the much larger open textbook library on the screen as well. You might like to check these out later. I'll be adding my notes to the text, An Open Educational Reader, edited by David Wiley. This is an example of how Hypothesis is not just a tool for students, but for professional and research purposes too. You'll have access to your Hypothesis account even after graduation, so you can take this into the workplace as a way to organise information. Nicole Allen's chapter on open textbooks is my starting point. When it loads, I notice that even in the first paragraph are some points that I want to remember and follow up. My first step is to find the hypothesis extension or bookmarklet on my browser. It's the lowercase h in the toolbar. When I click on it, a few extra icons appear on the right hand side of my screen. The arrow icon expands the frame and allows me to see any annotations. Note that if anyone in the world has left public annotations on a page, you'll see them here. As a student, you'll mostly be posting to a community, and we'll cover that in a moment. As a student, you'll mostly be posting to a community, and we'll cover that in just a moment. The icon that looks like an open eye is for annotation, and the document icon is for page notes. Annotations are used when you need to make a specific point about part of the text, whereas page notes are observations relevant to the entire page. It's really up to you how you want to use them. Let's focus on annotation for now. I'm keen to capture the opening sentence of the paragraph, so I select it and I'm presented with two options, annotate or highlight. Highlighting works exactly the same as with pen and paper resources and draws attention to relevant points, as you can see here. In this case, I want to come back to these statistics and use them for presentation, so I want to see them at a glance. The second sentence also catches my attention, but for a different reason. It refers to some research I would like to read, and I want to track down the link for it. To save time, I've already done this and selected the link. To add the link, I click on Annotate, and I'll make a note, and copy and paste the link just like this. Before I save the annotation, I need to decide who can see it. At the top of the window is a drop-down menu that currently shows Public. This means anyone else in the world with a Hypothesis account can see my notes and comment on them. For this course, you'll have already received an invitation to a community from your lecturer. If you have accepted the invitation, the community name will appear on your list here. The example I'm using today is Team Assignment OER 1000, but of course, yours will be different. If these notes are just for your reference, you might also consider creating a new private group using this link. Once you have given it a relevant name, a description, and selected Create Group, it will appear on your list, and you can start saving notes to it. In either case, select the appropriate group, and then click on Post. If you ever want to edit or delete one of your annotations, use these icons here. Note that you can only edit and delete your work, not the work of others. If you are a part of a group with other students, the reply button can also be very useful. I'll show you an example. This chapter includes discussion questions. I can use the annotation function to answer a question and then share my answer with the group. I'll make this response to question three. If anyone wants to add a link to more useful information, support what I've said, offer alternative viewpoints, or share their experience, they can reply to my annotation. 
I'll receive an email notification and I could start a conversation here. The advantage is that everyone in the group can see the discussion and this contributes to learning across the entire group. Hypothesis is extremely useful because it collects your annotations and highlighting across the entire web in one place. If you want to find notes or revisit any resources, go back to the Hypothesis website and log in. All of my annotations are listed on this page. From here, I can search for specific terms in my notes using this feature at the top of the page. If I want to see my annotations on a specific resource, I can find it on the list and then click on the resource. The list now shows the section of text from the original resource and my annotation under it. If I want further information, I can click on this icon, Visit an Annotation in Context, and be taken directly to that section of the website, as you can see here. The last way annotations are organized is by group. You'll remember that in the example, I saved my annotation to the group Team Assignment OER 1000. I can find all of my groups via this drop down menu and select the appropriate group. This shows me all annotations made to the group, and I can use Visit Annotation in Context, just like before, to revisit the resources. When you are part of a group, you'll see a list of annotations made by all members here. This is a good way to share resources and discover resources annotated by other students. Take a moment to think about how you might even use this to organize resources for an assignment or create a community for a group assignment so you have a central place to manage your information. To recap, we've learned about the functionality of Hypothesis today. Throughout this tutorial, we've explored annotating and highlighting web resources, the decision making around how to share your annotations and with whom, how you might like to contribute to or create your own groups, locating your annotations, whether searching or by resource or by group, visiting your annotations in context and those made by others in your group, and editing and deleting your annotations and replying to annotations as part of a learning community. I'm sure that as you use Hypothesis, you'll think about how to use it in more ways, and this tutorial serves as a good starting point to support your ideas and learning.